Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a picture in the Fairy Celebrations book by Carla Makova. And I love this cover with the little pink kind of uh, house here for the little guys that are up here. The little blue chair. I just think this is just a gorgeous cover and there is a picture in the book and that is this picture and I'm going to color it in these colors. Bringing these colors into the book I think is going to be really nice. So there's a lot of gold detail and I have gold watercolor so I was going to try to put some of that down um, after I color the uh, page. This is done kind of in like um, pastel pinks which I don't really have too many pastel colors but I do have some in the Prisma colors. So I have the Deco pink and uh, like a pink rose and uh, there's a little peach up here in this guy. So I'm going to try to bring some of those colors in. So hopefully I'm just going to draw some of these colors into the book page and hopefully it comes out similar. <laughs> so this is the page we're going to be doing. And like I said, I have um, these I'm going to take the peach out because it only goes for the little guy up here. So we're going to be using deco p uh, should be deco pink. And I got peach out here. Let me see. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. So we have uh, deco pink, which is PC1014. We have the henna, which is 1031. I do have some pink rose in case I need to bring in a little bit more of a uh, two tones in between these. And the pink rose is 1018. And then around the edges here and in underneath these flowers is kind of a dark brown. So I brought out the dark umber. So with those colors, I think I can get a close enough match to the pretty pink house on the branch. Hopefully. <laughs> so we're going to go in first with um, some of the henna around the edges down in here. We'll be bringing the brown up into this area probably to about here and then kind of fading it out a little bit. So it kind of has like an aura of brown as I just scribble on my page <laughs> around the edge. I'm going to try also to bring in some neo colors and do a green background. But, you know, <laughs> I'm going to have a little fun here today. So we'll go ahead and put some of the henna down here. just around the edges. Then I'm assuming that house will come down under here. These will also be some of the colors I use in the flowers themselves when we get to those. I'm just putting a light touch on here so Just want to get some color down on the page. All these little bubbles I can go over because they are going to be gold. And since I'm going to paint them gold, I can color over them with the pencil. I'll do this on both sides. It's 
so I hope you're all doing well. I wish to thank everybody for the wonderful, wonderful comments that you've left me on my last couple of videos. I really appreciate it. Just going to bring this out a little further. Okay, I've got kind of a rough sketch of what's going to go on there. We're going to bring in the deco pink and see how we blend together here. back in with the henna here and darken this up a little bit. Sorry, I know you're listening to is the traffic in the background if you didn't hear it. <laughs> I'm just going around and deepening up the darker edges there. And pulling it back out into the light pink. So I want to get it uh, brightest pink on the inside and then darker going on to the outside. And we're going to bring in a little of that brown in here too. Just 
kind of a deep brown. Just on the edge. And then in here. So in between all the flowers. And then lightly out. back over it with the henna so we get the nice little bit of red in there or pink dark pink <clears throat> we'll do the same thing around the door go in with the dark umber Then we go over the whole uh, areas there again with the deco pink. Just blend it out there. Okay, duster here. Gonna darken it up down here at the bottom. Bring in some of that dark umber down here. And the henna. And then the pink. So far so good. <laughs> so we're just going to work our way around to the other side doing the same thing. And make sure we get this nice and dark brown on the inside, going around the flowers. Like I said, all those dots we'll still be able to see. I'm not coloring them completely over, but they will be gold dots. You can either do that with a gel pen or 
a gel pen would probably be a really nice touch in there. I was going to try some watercolors that I have. And then everything else there is green. The flowers are being colored in with the, um, sorry, I have to sharpen that. The deco pink, because they're the same color as the, the house here. So we'll do a couple of these flowers. Just going to color them in that blue, light pink. The center of these are going to be gold, like the uh, cover of the book. And then we're going to bring in the um, henna. And color just the centers of those. back over it with the light pink which is the uh, deco pink just so it blends it in a little bit and the center of those are going to be gold too uh, we're going to bring in some of the greens I'm just going to show you how I do this. I'm going to do the other half of this off camera. <clears throat> okay, we're going to get you down a little closer to the leaves down here. I pulled out. Oh, we can do the chair since we're doing the chair. This is the two colors we'll also be using for the little um, guy up there with his wings. So we've got periwinkle and Caribbean Sea. Periwinkle is 1025 and the Caribbean Sea is 1103. So with the Caribbean Sea we're going to put down our highlights which are around the chair rails. And a little bit on the seat. and on the legs okay and the rest of that is dark so we're going to go in with our periwinkle If there's a spot you want to leave a little lighter, just don't color it. If you want it really dark, press pretty hard with these Prismacolors. You can always add a, a little touch of brown or black in here to get that a little darker. is bring in some of the black and we'll just stick it underneath the bow bring it down one side around 
you can see it there. The little shadows, back legs. Then you go back over it with the periwinkle. And that helps uh, blend it in a little bit. Periwinkle. <laughs> Let's grab the other color. Okay, and then we'll take a little white. No pun intended by the little tiny white pencil I've got. And we're just going to highlight a tiny bit more where I had the lighter blue. The bow in the picture is gold. I'm going to try to stick to this as much as possible, so <laughs> we can leave that gold. The leaves and such. Okay, we've got out um, like a bunch of greens here. I'm not quite sure. We have spring green, which is 913. We have light our sap green light which is 120 moss green which is 1097 and marine green which is 988 um, there's a tree branch that she has kind of got in like a, a green brown color and then the leaves are pretty bright so I thought I would put in on the leaves spring green in the centers of them Then we're going to bring in some moss green around the edges. it back in with the, the the spring green let's go all over it and then coming out the leaf we're going to bring in some of that brown dark umber here. I'm going to go around the edges of the branch with that and we're going to take it just go up the edges of the leaf 
darken those up a little bit. Okay, the um, center of this you can bring the brown up into and bring out any extra little veining you want. Okay, on the tree, we're going to kind of do the same thing. We're going to bring in some of that brown umber around the edging here and into that branch here. We're going to bring that in on the edges. Then blend it in really lightly. Any place you're going to have a shadow under the door, under the flower, under the legs of the chair. Okay, and she's got a soft green in here, so we're going to bring in the sap green light. I'm going to lay a little of that down. And we're going to bring in some, I'm going to sharpen it, moss green. Then I'm going to drop it on the floor. I probably need to sharpen it again. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go in with the moss green. And just kind of pull it down back up if I wouldn't have put down the um, light sap you wouldn't get this nice light color in between the two just lightens the moss green up enough there some of that sap green in right here you can use that also to blend all those colors together the lightest color will help blend everything bring back in the dark umber here
This area needs to be a little lighter. I made it really dark, so I'm just going to take my eraser in there and lighten up some of those areas there. And we'll just put in the um, lightest green in some spots and then we'll bring in a little white just to keep it lighter. A little mouse green just so that white doesn't look so white, I guess. <laughs> okay, so that's how we're going to do the um, branch. You can always darken up the edges if you want them a little darker and pull that brown up into the branch a little more. Also pulling it down. Get close to your edges here. any shadows where you want shadows and any place you want your leaf to be a little darker just go ahead and add some more in there just remember to blend it back out with the two colors the bottom of this leaf should have been a little darker so just adding in the dark umber and then putting in the moss green on top. Then you can go over it with the oh, this is not the right green I was not using that one. Oh well we had a little of that soft green in there. <laughs> okay we're gonna color this flower just because I want to get some pink in here. Bug, which is over here she has colored in the same color pinks so we'll add the deco pink on the back up here we'll go in with the henna around the bottom Take a little black and darken its little head there. Re darken its spots. And you can always put a little in for shadow. Just make sure you blend it back out with the henna so it doesn't look like a stark black line. Boom. So we have a little ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. The door is done in a kind of browns and uh, then bringing in some of the shades of uh, the pinks. Uh, the only brown I have out is the dark umber, so mm, I'll grab another brown here. How about a light umber? So we're going to start at the top of the door. Bring down some of that color. You can 
put some of this down here on the tree branch too if you like. Anyway, <laughs> get back up to what we're doing. <laughs> okay, let's see. She does have some of that red in here, so I'm going to bring in the um, henna on this side. some of the dark umber. I'm going to go around and bring down some of these wood lines. Same with bringing them up. door handles gold and the inside or they have the heart is gold too but we're going to draw a little darkness there and then of course the house lights will be on but okay we can bring this up keeping the pencil turned so we can get a sharp line on the wood grain here We'll go back in with the light umber. Can darken just the plank edges. Okay, I'll bring in a lighter color here. Um, bring in some chocolates.
Okay, then we need a light, light color. Um, almost a beigey color. So we're going to go back into the yellows and see what we can come up with here. Uh, get some yellow ochre in here. I know this probably does not look like her door. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we're just layering a bunch of colors until we get kind of a wood door here. Okay, I'm going to take a blending stick here. This is the Karen Dash blender. And we're just going to go over it lightly. Make sure everything is blended together. And you can go over the tree trunk to make sure it's blended nicely. And your leaf if you like. And there we have a door. You want to keep this clean if you're going to mix into colors that um, aren't on the book. Like I wouldn't go right into brown and go right into this light pink. You'd want to make sure it's clean first. Okay, so I'm going to color the rest of this house in. Do uh, the leaves the same way finish this branch here, get all the little tiny flowers done, and then we will come up and do the top half of the um, page. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I finished the little house, the um, leaves down here, and of course all the little pink flowers. Wow, that was a lot of flowers, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but at least there are only a couple tones in them, so that was nice. So I don't have the house quite as light as the front cover, but there's nothing I can do about that. I don't have, a, you know, a whole set of pastel colors, but I think it's turning out pretty nice. I went in with the uh, brown up to a point because this leaf or this branch here at the top is coming down and it's going to kind of be a little green going into the brown up here. The uh, bottom branch is going to be the same up here. I just got tired of doing leaves so um, those will be done off camera they're done as the same down here which was the same as this leaf here all I did was add a little tip of black into these areas where it kind of needed to be a little darker than the leaf behind it so I went around and did that that's about it on that um, we're gonna do this little guy up here so I'm going to get the camera down to do him, and then we'll do this little guy over here, and um, the little wing on this little guy 
down here. It's just the blue that's going to go in there. So it's going to be the same as the wings there. We're just going to take a little bit of, um, what was this, the Caribbean Sea, which is the lighter of the two that we did in the chair. And we're just going to add a little of that in on the wing uh, tip here. Just like that. It kind of matches the blue and the little guy up here is going to have some of that and the ribbon up here. So we'll have our points of blue all over. Anyway, I'll get the camera down and we'll do this little guy. Okay, let's see. We're going to go in with the... Uh, let's, well, i got to think about this one. It's a little different colored than the... Um, house is. So we're going to go in with the henna here around the edges. Let's try to do this without. I don't, the plastic sheet is not the right size for this book. <laughs> so I'm going to be hitting my hand on it. It's going to be moving the page. I'm not going to be happy about that. So I have to hold it down. So we're going to go around the edge here in the henna both sides we're going to kind of get it darker behind that flower under his little fingers Just kind of bring in those lines a little bit more. I think I'm going to go under the bow just a little bit on this side. Okay, he is going to be colored basically the same way as the ladybugs, so we might as well get our henna up here too. And he's got a little wing hiding in there. How cute. And the top up here has got to be colored in the same. Okay. Then we're going to bring in the um, deco pink. I'm going to go side to side like the lines are. I found that easier when I was doing the house. Those lines have got to go that way anyway, so when it blends, I pull those lines in the direction I want them to go. And then we're just going to go lightly in here. The bow is going to be gold, so we don't have to worry about that. And then do the same up here.
think his little fingers are going to be a little lighter. So we're going to go in now with a little peach. Okay, then we're going to go back in with the pink. Take in a little of the this is burnt under the dark umber and we're going to go around the edges here I'm sorry I'm bumping all the pencils just went out of the lines it's not going to bother me <laughs> And add a little up here on him too. move these pencils so they're not making so much noise. I'm going to bring in a tiny bit of black raspberry. I'm going to get the blending stick. I'm going to clean it because I used it on the leaf and I got green all over it. <laughs> I really don't want some green in here yet. So I'm just going to go in the same motion and kind of blend all those colors together.
Okay, bring in a little white. Add it here and there and get a little highlights in here. We're going to bring in a little of the um, yellow ochre and we're going to add some of that in here too. They have a little glow on this, so I want to make it a little glowy. And we can use a little of this in the windows here. So we have a little light going in here. And in the um, little heart down here. Okay, and it looks to be a little of that glow coming around the window here. So we'll add a little of that in there. And we'll put a little around the door here too, just to brighten it up. Okay, the window frame itself is kind of done in the pink colors too, so we will definitely go in and get that done. Should have done that earlier. So it's just the henna going around. That will bring in the deco pink. Darken it up a little bit. Tassels are gold, but I'm assuming they are. And I don't think he has any yellow in him, but I'm not sure. Just go around a little bit more and blend that in a little better. Okay, um, we'll finish him up with a little black. Okay, so we're going to make his eye black again because I went over it. eyelashes. Anywhere you want a deeper 
darker black, just go over it with the black. And go over his little fingers. Okay, now his little tie needs to be blue like the chair, so we're going to go in with the periwinkle and darken it up where the creases are going to be. bring in just plain white in here. I'm going to blend that. Bring the periwinkle in and darken those areas up again if you like. a separation between these two so go back over that line so you can see it you can bring any lines up that you want add any more if you want okay we're gonna do his wing blue so this is the um, Caribbean Sea And it's just light like that and just bring in white and blend it in. I didn't do that with this little ladybug down here, but so that's all you're doing is putting in that one color and blending it. Okay, so we have this guy up here. Let me see him good. He's going to be kind of pink like the other guy over here. So we'll go ahead and put him in his colors. Looks like he's taking a nap. And we're going to put some pink In his wing area. Okay, a little bit of the henna back here. We're going to put a tiny bit of the um, blue in this little one here. This is the periwinkle. Okay, we're going to bring it a 
little bit down in here. Okay, then we're going to bring in the Caribbean Sea. Just on the edges there. Okay, then we're going to go in with white and blend that all together. doesn't blend well you still put the white down so we can go back over it with the lighter colors okay we'll bring in the deco pink right over the white Just bring it into the blue. And we're going to give them little pink feet, so. <laughs> bring that in there, too. Go back in with the Caribbean blue. Just shade those a little better. bring in the blending tool and see if that will help blend anything in. again. over any of the lines that the pencil went over too much. Just 
you go ahead and come behind, it's okay. Heal again. Make the other one match. You can bring in any other color to blend that in. With the pink, I'm going to bring in a little of the black raspberry here. with these lights on. I'm going to show you what it looks like with the lights off. <laughs> Boom. And then I'll be able to blend this a little better. darker periwinkle and blend that a little better. And now we have our two little bugs done. So off camera I will finish this um, branch up and then I will come back and we will do the um, background and then we'll put the grew gold on there. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay we're back. <laughs> we're going to um, go ahead and do a distress ink background here just because I like the way the page is turning out and I think do it, trying to do it with neo colors and making it as dark as the front cover is going to be a little more than I want. So I'm just going to take a couple shades of um, Distress Ink in green and one in brown. So we have Vintage Photo, Pine Needles, and Shabby Shutters. And I'm going to kind of mix it in the background here. And then we will paint on our um, gold accents. So we will do this one first. And what I do is just take the lids off, set them next to what we're working on so I know what I'm doing here. I'm going to get out uh, some of these little brushes here. Take the smallest one. We're going to go in first with a little bit of the Shabby Shutters, which is a green. Sorry for all the noise. We're going to take a piece of scratch paper. We're going to test to make sure I have enough on there. Okay, so we're just going to take it around and very lightly brush it onto the page. It's okay if you get it on some of the flowers that can get a little pink or a little green pink they're already pink <laughs> I think a little green on them so I'm gonna pull this out and I wanted to do this before I painted because the paint can go over 
the ink, but the ink, I don't know if it can go over the paint. So, okay, I'm just going all the way around and putting the green down. And down towards the bottom. Okay. So next we're going to take the same um, brush. It has a little bit of the green left on it. We're going to go into the darker green. And I'm going to check that out and see if that's going to be... Eh, I don't like that. We're not going to use that color, so Pine Needles is out. It's too blue-ish colored. Doesn't really look like pine. So we're going to go into the brown tone, Vintage Photo. Okay, we're going to add a little of that in and around. Now considering our whole picture has got these two colors in it. It'll be nice and cohesive. If you just add it here and there, you don't have to put it everywhere. <laughs> you get it on the flowers and you don't like it, just wipe it off. It's always good to have a uh, rag around. Wipe it right off of those. Just kind of pick and choose where you want it. A little more down here. Okay. A little up here. You can mix it, you can put um, both on the same brush. It will be fine. This will lighten up when it dries. There we go. I think that looks good. Now you can do two things here if you want. I've never used water in this book, so we're going to test it out because it's the first page I've uh, done. I'm going to throw a little water on there and wipe it up and see what that'll do with our... ink here. Pick it up. We'll have to see what it does on the other side. Get some down here too. There we go. Okay. Dry off the page. Now I'm going to get this paper over here so I can test. the watercolor. Okay, what I'm using, I don't know if you can see the name, C-O-L-I-R-O -O watercolor uh, palette. It's all in the gold tones. Um, I have a <laughs> Fine Tech, I believe is the new name of that company. But I have a little set of uh, different colors also. But I like those golds better. And I'm going to be using the um, Inca gold. So you put the water in and you let it sit there so it can get thick. I don't know if it's quite thick enough. 
going to test it here and see how um, vibrant that gold is. If I turn on the lights, you probably would see it better. Sorry, I forgot I didn't have them on. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we're after this gold. And the longer you let that sit, the thicker that's going to get. And it turns out absolutely gorgeous. So kind of waiting for it to get nice and thick. We're painting all the gold um, areas on this. So the little heart was gold. All the uh, rockery around here is the same color. This is good. It'll let you see the lines through it, but turn it gold, so. You want to keep this just where you want the gold. you go out of the lines we're gonna have to scrape that off or color over it is to splatter um, paint on here too. <laughs> and the little door handle. window up above, I believe, <laughs> I'm trying to remember, I don't know, I guess I could take a peek here, do, 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 do. yeah, the window above, okay, more water in there. If you notice, it's really not sticking on the Prisma colors because the water will repel off the um, wax, but it does coat it a little bit. So like I said, I'm going to probably try to wipe that up with water or I'll just color over it. Okay, um, the bow.
and the tassels. I'm going to get that a little wetter. Get the inside of the bow. Okay. Um, there are little splatters all over where all these little dots are and these dots that are down on the house. So, I mean, you can take your time and paint every single one of these. Like I said, you could go over these with your gel pen. But, I mean, that's going to take a lot of time and I'm not going to do that on camera, but I will take my brush here. Not this brush. Um, hold on a second. Okay, what I'm going to do is take my long brush that I usually do my little spots with. Um, add a little more water to that. I'm going to pick up some of that gold on this. And then we're just going to tap it. And we're going to get little gold dots down in here. The more water you put on, the more you have on your brush, the more little dots you're going to get. So we're going to put those all over. And we could do these in different colors. I've got lots of different gold. <laughs> and we have to, uh, every single flower gets a center dot of gold. Like I said, you can do this with gel pen. I can't see exactly what I'm doing, but <laughs> you get the hint that I'll be putting gold in all the uh, flower centers like that also. And uh, the little dots going around. On the big ones, I'll just fill in. But I'll do that off camera and I will show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Thank you you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry, I didn't have the mic on. I <laughs> hope you could hear me. <laughs> but um, that's all I'm going to be doing is just sprinkling it with the paint and then um, doing the dots inside all of the flowers the same way. And I will show you a picture at the end of the video what it looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope uh, you have a wonderful day if you like these kind of videos gives me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed and want to, go for it. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. And like I said, I really wanted to thank everybody for all their wonderful comments the last couple of days. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.